You know, I've been asked this question more times than I can remember. What about Dolby Vision, Mr. 4K? Dolby Vision, Dolby Vision. What is the perfect TV for Dolby Vision? What TV should I buy to appreciate Dolby Vision? And what do you recommend? Well, that's what this video is really going to be about. Is Dolby Vision better than HDR10? Yes, it is better than HDR10. But are you fully experiencing the true Dolby Vision that was intended by Dolby Laboratories? No. Currently, at the moment, you're not taking the full advantage of Dolby Vision. And throughout this video, I will explain to you why. What you're looking at right now, it's Tom Cruise movie called uh, Live, Die, Repeat. And I'm sure all of you have seen this movie. It's in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. And what you're currently looking at, it's my TCLR 617 this year version of TCL6 series. Is this a good Dolby Vision television? Well, you're definitely going to appreciate the colors, a little bit brighter picture, but is this a really good Dolby Vision television? Even though it has photon, NBP photon technology that's kind of similar to Quantum Dot, uh, it does have a good color accuracy, not the best, but has good color accuracy. It has over, I think, close to 847 nits, lumens, peak brightness, light of uh, backlit LED, but is that good enough? All right, first thing first, TCLR 617. Uh, this is a budget TV. I want everybody to understand something. When they go shop for a TV this holiday season or whenever you decide to buy it, you have to remember something. These are the budget TVs. TCL, it's a budget TV. Uh, Vizio, that's $700, it's still a budget TV. Hinson's still a budget TV. There's a new TV called The Element, that's a budget TV. These are all budget TVs. Having said that, that means you're getting a budget quality. All right, so that means that you're not, gonna, not, that you're not going to, to appreciate the full potential of high dynamic range. You will get a sense of what HDR is capable of to a certain extent, but you're not going to get the full unlocked HDR experience. If you want to get the full HDR experience, you got to go with a QLED. You got to go with the QLEDs or Z90, Z9F, 930E or OLED. But like I said, the problem with OLED is that burning, but sure, OLED will give you that color accuracy and, and perfect viewing angles uh, for you to appreciate HDR. Now, the entry-level TVs, they all come with a Dolby Vision. Majority of them come with a Dolby Vision. Whether you get the Vizio P series, whether you get the TCL series, even the Hinsons, uh, those are all entry-level TVs, uh, guys. And is Dolby Vision going to look great on those entry-level televisions? They will look good, but then again, they're not going to look the way they could be. If you had something like, let's say, Z90 or Z9F that goes up to 2,000 nits, or if you had something like uh, 930E that goes up to 1,600 nits, or X, uh, what was it, X900F, 900F can go up to 1,600 nits. The reason I say this is because the higher the peak brightness, the better the Dolby Vision is going to be. And Dolby Vision requires two things, the highest possible peak brightness and color accuracy. But it's really the peak brightness that Dolby Vision needs the most. Also, Dolby Vision is meant to be 12-bit, higher bits of color. Okay, currently all of the televisions, 4K usually televisions are 10-bit. Uh, we don't have any 12-bit televisions on the market at all, all right, that I know of. So, 
right now, even if you have Z9D, even if you have Z9F, or even if you have uh, 900F, you're still not going to get that full potential of Dolby Vision. What I'm trying to say is Dolby Vision, it's evolving. Uh, pretty soon, I'm sure, two, three years from now, maybe, I think three years from now, we're finally going to get the, the 12-bit television uh, panels with 4,000, 10,000 nits peak of brightness, and then like 100% color accuracy DCI-P3. We're going to get those televisions, and I think when they make those televisions, we will get a that full potential of do, what Dolby Vision can do. Currently, you're not experiencing full potential of Dolby Vision. I have seen Dolby Vision in movie theaters, in cinemas with these laser projectors, and I've seen how bright they are and what they can do. Uh, so, bottom line is this. Yes, you know, you can still enjoy this movie, and yes, it's better to watch this movie like this than to watch it like without Dolby Vision. Sure, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos and the Voodoo it's definitely going to give you a good picture quality. But if you're watching it on TCL, on a budget TV like this, this is only 840 nits. This TV cannot go any brighter than 840 nits. And therefore, the, the, the Dolby Vision is not going to look that eye candy popping, you know, like... It would, for example, let's say, for example, if QLED uh, had Dolby Vision. My only uh, complaint about QLED, QLED televisions is the fact that it doesn't have Dolby Vision. I always felt the Q9FN or Q8FN, those two televisions, would be a perfect candidates for Dolby Vision. Honestly, I think you would get a really good Dolby Vision experience if Samsung had included Dolby Vision. Maybe they'll do it next year. We'll see. So the question remains, okay, Mr. 4K upscaler, so what do you suggest? Well, what I suggest is if, you know, you can't afford these high-end TVs, and I understand if you can't, uh, look, TCL will still give you some idea on what the Dolby Vision can actually do, even on a, on a budget TV. Because you will appreciate the brighter colors, the brighter image. However, you will not get the full potential of what Dolby Vision can do. It's, it's what I'm trying to say is you're not getting the full Dolby Vision experience that was meant to be scene okay you're getting kind of washed down version of the dolby vision all right well that's because it's a budget tv so what i want people to understand is this and i think this is the whole point of this video just because it has a dolby vision logo on the tv it doesn't mean that all of a sudden magically your picture quality is going to improve that or the magically everything's going to just start happening and no uh, you, it, that's not how it works the Dolby Vision needs a panel to feed on it needs a panel that it's capable of higher peak brightness that has a much better contrast ratio uh, of full real local dimming and of course color gamut uh, the much better the color gamut the, the better the Dolby Vision now sure OLED will give you that little bit of that with the color accuracy, uh, Z90, Z9F will do that as well. But with these uh, budget TVs, entry-level TVs, don't expect too much. So, like I said, Dolby Vision, it's still evolving. Uh, we're not there yet when it comes to Dolby Vision televisions. Uh, we're not getting the full potential of what the Dolby Vision, Dolby Vision can do. And I just want people to understand that Dolby Vision, it's something that's evolving and it will take a, t a lot of time before we see 12-bit televisions with 4,000 nits and 10,000 nits. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it.